Welcome to Lex's World. Today I wanted to talk about the prescription only pill known as Marinol that has been around for about 25 years now, also known as synthetic marijuana or pure synthetic THC. A few people have asked me if I recommend taking Marinol as an alternative to medical cannabis. I wanted to take an episode to compare Marinol to cannabis and why I do not support the use of this pill. Marinol is primarily prescribed to cancer and AIDS patients and marketed as a legal alternative to cannabis with the same medical benefits. However, that's just marketing. In reality, it actually bears little resemblance to cannabis. Marinol does contain THC, a cannabinoid, which is a therapeutic compound. Normal marijuana also contains THC. The problem is, is that THC is pretty much all Marinol has. The reason real weed is so therapeutic for so many conditions is because it has many cannabinoids that interact with each other and with the patient. Over a hundred cannabinoids within the plant have been identified already. Most notably, cannabidiol, CBD, which I've talked about before, I'll link to that episode in the description, and cannabinol, CBN. These two compounds especially have many therapeutic properties, and the way they interact with THC further boosts the positive effects of all of them. I really like Dr. Sanjay Gupta, who in his exhaustive 2014 study of medical marijuana, coined the term the entourage effect to describe how all these cannabinoids interact with each other. Marinol does not have CBD, CBN, or any of the other cannabinoids that exist in cannabis. As a result, Marinol isn't as effective as cannabis because it doesn't have most of the necessary ingredients and is only good for a small fraction of the problems that cannabis can resolve. Even for those, it's not as effective. But wait, there's more! Marinol is also expensive, very expensive like hundreds of dollars per month. While marijuana grows out of the ground for next to nothing, and even if you're provided by a medical supplier, it should cost a lot less than Marinol. And Marinol has all of the same side effects as cannabis, including a few worrying ones that are incredibly rare with regular cannabis, like seizures. So to make a long story short, Marinol is a cheap knockoff by the pharmaceutical industry to try and simulate cannabis. Another similar drug called Sativex tried to improve on Marinol by adding CBD to the mix to make something more effective, but also failed to simulate the plant properly. Because plants are just too complex. But hey, they tried, right? I can't tell anyone what to do, but if my doctor offered me Marinol or Sativex with countless specifically bred medical cannabis strains available out there, I'd pretty much laugh in his face. That's the show for the day. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. We'll see you next time on Lex's World.